Hey guys, I wanted to create a video to, to discuss tumescent solution. So what that is, is whenever you're doing a liposuction case, you have to infuse the tissues with a solution that helps with one pain control, it helps to control bleeding, and it also helps to separate the fat cells so that it's easier to do your liposuction. So within that uh, solution that we infuse, it has lidocaine, has epinephrine, and a couple other medications you can add if you choose to. So I tend to make my own um, tumescent fluid that is patient specific so I take into consideration the patient weight uh, to determine how much of the different medications I put into my solution so I just want to show you guys how that works so I have a bag here of what's called lactated ringers it's just another form of um, a safe fluid that you can put into the body similar to normal saline and so within that I'm going to inject some lidocaine so I have here 1% lidocaine that I'm going to inject um, into this bag so I already have some drawn up and so what I do is I just go and inject that lidocaine into the bag. And I've already determined based on the patient's weight for today how much um, of this I'm going to need in the bag. to add for this patient is something called TXA. So that's trans eczemic acid. It's a medication that helps to control bleeding as well. Um, it helps decrease the post-operative bruising that a patient might have after liposuction. Other things that I add is um, epinephrine. So that also helps with controlling the bleeding after surgery and helps to also prolong the efficacy of the lidocaine so that that um, pain control component of the lidocaine lasts longer. So epinephrine, also known as adrenaline, uh, you will add some of that. And then the last thing that I add is uh, bicarb, and that just helps to take some of the sting out of the lidocaine. Not everybody adds this to their solution, but I do for mine. It. So now inside this bag, it contains all of those medications that will help with pain control during a liposuction pr uh, procedure, uh, as well as controlling blood, uh, or sorry, bleeding or bruising postoperatively. So I will label this with all those medications that I put in there so that everybody's aware of what is in this bag and what it is needed for. And um, that's it. So if you guys have any other questions or want to see more things that happen in the office, just leave them in the comments below.